All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Video Games. You can see us at lionsarcade.com. Back with another video. What we do is we videotape cool arcade games that we get in our shop or cool video games that we get in. And this is the famous 1980 original Pac-Man. Does it get any cooler than that? And then uh, this is also the cocktail table version, which is super cool. So we figured we, we should do a, just a quick videotape of it. This one probably won't be long because everybody's played Pac-Man. But we just thought we'd show you this cool game. This is a, an original game from 1980. So it's been around now for 35 years, if my math's right. And I believe it is. 35 years ago they built this thing and it's still running. It's still working. It's been pretty well taken care of. It's got a few scrapes and scratches here and there, but we just fully serviced it so it's working great. I just figured I'd give you a little overview of what this looked like and what they look like uh, after they've been fixed up a little bit. So This of course uh, it's probably the most famous game in the world. There were three versions of this uh, of Pac-Man. There was a arcade stand-up version, which was the uh, the famous one that most people played. There was the cabaret version, which was actually a little bit smaller and it had wood grain sides, and uh, but it was still an upright one. It was just a little bit smaller cabinet, and they made those for bars and things like that, where you could um, where you didn't have quite as much room, and they put. Um, it didn't have the, the artwork on the side because they didn't want it to be quite as loud and flashy in a bar, you know, a little more adult. And then they made this one. This is the cocktail cabinet. Cocktail cabinets, uh, I suppose, are called that because you can set a drink on them. So, just give you a little overview of what each side looks like. You see these everywhere. Everybody loves these. So they've built a lot of copies of these over the years. You can you can buy. Uh, brand new cocktail cabinets. This is actually an original one though, so I'll just show you some of the show you what the control panel looks like. So if you were sitting here on a little stool or a little folding chair or whatever. Now a lot of a lot of people call these Pizza Hut cabinets because they were in a lot of Pizza Huts back in the day. So of course it has this hard glass top and then artwork under the top and your little control panel there. See these two little lights too that light up the control panel whenever you're in a dark room. Here's the instructions. If I can get that glare not on there. Usually you would be in a place that didn't have fluorescent lights over it, so you wouldn't have a glare on the top of it. Kind of shows you how simple the game is. All right, so that's the. And you can see the one-player control panel has the start buttons. This is player one. And then if you go around to the two-player control panel. It's very similar, it just doesn't have start buttons. Player two. So this cabinet's still in good shape. What we do is we buy these. A lot of times they're broken or they need help. We buy all kinds of arcade games. We've got tons of them in stock now. And we repair them, get them working good, and then we usually sell them to people for their home arcade. So we've got a whole building full of them here. All the ones in our showroom work and are ready to go. So a lot of people would buy this. A lot of people like the cocktail version because you can uh, put it places that you can't put a full size upright. So maybe you've got a, a game room on the third floor and it's breaking your back thinking about hauling full size arcade games up there. Well, this one's light enough that two people can carry it. So. All right, and there's one little trick that the cocktail tables did that was what made them all so cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a couple quarters in it. Here's the coin door. That's one credit. Two credits. Now if you, again I've got the glare. Let me turn off the lights and then that'll, uh, that'll get rid of that. All right, that's a little better. A little more like it would look in a game room or in your house. Or you can see it kind of eliminates the glare. So if you read this, it says, 
push start button, one or two players. Bonus Pac-Man for 10,000 points, 1980. Credit two. So here's the trick. If you're gonna play a two-player game, one person sets on this side, but I'm gonna go ahead and press the two-player start button. I'm gonna try to play it without looking at the camera, so forgive that. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna crash over here and let somebody just kill me. And then I'll show you, if you're the second player, watch this. You're sitting over here, bam! The screen flipped over, isn't that neat? I didn't even hardly see it move. So once this guy dies, you sit here patiently while the other person plays upside down. And that's the that's the little trick that the cocktail tables did. So anyway, yet another game. Just figured I'd show it to you. I won't really show you any gameplay because everybody's played Pac-Man. Maybe we can just videotape it as it plays through a little bit here. Or I guess I should do this so that you can see it good. But uh, this is just one of a probably 50 arcade games we have in for sale right now. Depending on when you see this video, this game may have already been sold. But we may have another one like it or something else that you're interested in. So check us out, lionsarcade.com. And uh, if you've never seen a Pac-Man, original Pac-Man 1980 cocktail table, now you can say you know all about them. Hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you soon.